In this video we will check our CAD drawing to make sure that there are no errors that could cause potential importing and modelling issues in Panels Plus. Opening our CAD drawing we see we have a plan with several different elevations in 2D. Panels Plus can import any DWG or .dxf file provided that it's in 2D. Any 3D Revit or CAD files must be converted into 2D elevations before they're imported into Panels Plus. Each of the panel elements has been drawn in a separate layer, meaning that we can very quickly import them into Panels Plus. These elements can all be drawn in the one layer, but it means that importing into Panels Plus will be much slower. Looking at the individual panel elements, we can see that this panel has been drawn as a closed polyline, which is the preferred method. Panels can also be drawn of many different line elements, provided that the line elements finish at the same point. If there's a small gap between these two lines, the panel won't import correctly. There should also be a small gap between adjacent panels so that Panels Plus knows where one panel stops and the other starts. The same applies for voids, which can be made of closed polylines or line elements and recesses. Feature lines can be made of line elements and ferrules out of circular elements. Looking at the plan view and turning off the grid for clarity, we can see that a single line element has been drawn through the center line of every elevation. Now, this is necessary for when creating a 3D view in Panels Plus. If this line was made up of several different line elements, we wouldn't be able to import this elevation in one go in the 3D view in Panels Plus. And before we import, we should also double check our units. Panels Plus has SI units for which the default unit of distance is millimeters or imperial units, which either uses inches or feet and inches. Checking our drawing, we can see that the units are in millimetres and it's ready to import. In the case that SI units are used and the unit of distance is metres, the drawing can either be scaled in AutoCAD or a scaling factor can be applied in Panels Plus before the CAD drawing is imported. By checking our CAD drawing before we import into Panels Plus, we eliminate any potential importing and modeling issues. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching.